Rolling Papers 2 is out. Yeah. Wiz is back. Is he back with a vengeance? Is he back doing that same, you know, kind of last album was kind of, you know, is it getting more and more boring or is he on the way up back up? Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's kind of where we're at right yeah. now, Wiz. Uh, let, let's do some backstory on Wiz, though. Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Let me ask you, what was the first Wiz song where you first noticed him? Oh, uh, not honestly, it wasn't Black and Yellow. It was, okay, it was the it. other single off that track, the fucking... Uh, Stay up all night one. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever the hell yeah. that one's called. Okay. I heard that one. Then I heard Black and Yellow. So pretty okay, much so Rolling you, Papers. Yeah, yeah. So Rolling Papers one. Yeah, I was okay. pr- I was pretty late to the game, but yeah. Well, Rolling Papers one was a big album for me. I'll say that. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. You know, it introduced me to the uh, marijuana ideas. Okay. Okay. Damn it. I'll Liz. just say that. <laughs> it's I'm a Blim Wiz. Damn kinda. it, Liz. Man, he gave me a nice soundtrack for starting <laughs> off with my. Weed stuff. But the first Wiz I heard, I think, was actually from JJ. Um, I oh, think nice. it was... Uh, pff, fuck. Uh, it was on Cushion OJ. Okay. So Cushion okay. OJ was kind of his... I think it goes down as his... Uh, cla- like Kind of like, his classic. Like his best project. But it wasn't thing. an album. Yeah, it was, it was on his mixtape. See, so. I don't know it as much. Oh, I think it was called The the Thrill. The Thrill of It. Thrill of It. So he, oh, did, he okay. did a remix to that, but it was like a Wiz. That was the first that I had heard of Wiz. Okay. Um, so yeah, so fast forward, Rolling Papers, we both know. That album kind of blew him up. Yeah, and I, 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 li- I like that album a lot, actually, it's a, no, at no, the it's time. It's a good album. I'm not a big Wiz fan, but it's a good It was a good, good album. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I guess it looks like Cabin Fever came out a month before Rolling Papers, the right album. Right before, yeah. What I just remember with Cabin Fever, what that was, was our, my first time hearing Wiz on hard-ass beats. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a weird transition because, uh, you know, like, I feel like it was just, wa- this, at this time, this is when Waka was coming up. Yeah, and, that's right. And, you know, with the 808 crazy shit. Just fucking hard Which is now what whatnot. everything is. Yeah. I'm just thinking back, but... So it was it was, cra- a, little, it was a little different It was de- time, Yeah, though, it was yeah. hard trap that wasn't out really yet. Yeah. But then Wiz decided to hop on some of those beats, too, besides just Waka. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking in my head, okay, Waka's allowed to, Gucci's allowed to, all the trappers. Like, yeah, all the Atlanta right? trapper dudes uh-huh. and all that but shit. But then yeah. Wiz is this Pittsburgh, just a <laughs> weed head. Yeah, but he yeah. made his way to prove his point on a hard beat, but not too hard of like street life yeah you know what i mean yeah, just he, being cool about smoking weed yeah he didn't have much to say about it but on cabin fever that had some hits i mean that had yeah. uh gang bang big sean that's one of my favorite songs probably ever nice okay. uh there's there's some other ones on there i think one's called homicide that one going hard he's got i don't know there's a lot of bangers on yeah. that one that I, just, I do remember that one being a very heavy beaded one yeah. yeah and then month later we get rolling papers <laughs> Um, that was pretty big. Black and Yellow was huge. One big, of his biggest yeah, hits ever. Blew him up. Um, after that, we get to Taylor Alderdice, I believe. I think. Fuck, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I want to say it's Taylor Alderdice. Now that, that was actually, I liked that one a lot too. That was kind of where he was bringing in other members. Mm-hmm. But ON IFC. So then he had ON IFC, which is only oh, N word right. in first class. That's right. And that that album. So this is a sophomore album. Yeah. So Rolling Papers was pretty Which good. Is weird. Kind of what people expected. <laughs> I'm gonna take the sunglasses off. We're getting serious. Here. Okay. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait, is it? Rolling Papers isn't. It? No, there's no way. Rolling Papers what? This is a sophomore album. No, Rolling Papers was his first album. No, yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, sophomore album was O N F O N I F C. Oh, you threw me off there. The standout time. tracks with so he came with the work hard, play hard. Yeah, work. Another another huge hit. Yeah, I think he was trying to follow up the black and yellow type. Okay, motivate sports. Yeah, because black and yellow kind of turned into a took a well, life obviously of, life for the Steelers, own, yeah. but any sports team it was kind of just a sports anthem. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know what? It, everything I do, I do it big. Yeah, definitely. You know, it kind of just any. I think it was an athlete kind of theme, so he thought. Work hard, play hard. Literally, like that was that was kind of like to me though when I heard that I liked it, but it was kind of like you could tell he was definitely trying to make a song for sports teams. To, yeah, it was a which cool, isn't bad. It was a cool. Track, it was a cool song. He did a remix. Drake was supposed to hop on that on the, the remix. Work hard, play hard. Yeah. Oh, it never happened though. He got Wayne and Young Jeezy on it, so that was pretty big for him. Yeah. He's still, you yeah. Know, you know, Rolling Papers was pretty crazy first album, and then did he get the sophomore slump? Yeah. I. I <laughs> Do I don't know if I don't know if I'd call album? it I don't know if I'd call it a sophomore slump. I just think Rolling Papers is the best he had to offer. Like Yeah, it was a like, that was a big album for him, you definitely. Know, I yeah. <laughs> I mean that that happens a lot with artists though. I mean that that's why they get the sophomore slump. Like the first yeah. album is your story, it's a lot to get out, and then what, you know? Yeah. Uh so anyway, so he did O N I F C 
he had like two songs from that that were pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I don't you know? remember a lot of those. It's nothing. See, I like the plan and you know, I'm gonna say this though. I did like probably about one third of that album, ONIFC. Okay. Um, and That's then 2012. 2012, and then we get a long break. He probably dropped some tapes. Uh, I think he did like you know some sequels or something, but they weren't yeah. nothing really stand out of much. Besides, like with Problem, he had like Smoking, Drinking, Smoking. There yeah. Was, there were some cool songs off it, but every once in a while. So then he starts hyping up this Black Hollywood album, and I think what what happened is. Uh, Anytime an artist puts the album title out way ahead. Oh, yeah, like way advanced. Kind of how Views, remember how Views yeah. was so hyped up? Yep. So Black Hollywood was that. Yeah. So we get We Them Boys, which was a big anthem. For sure. Another big, cool. another big hit out of him. Yeah, but and that was it for that album, though. I'm looking here. Nothing else that was really Yeah, literally. Big. Besides cake. Smoking, KK, smoking. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I forgot that. about that song. Astrop, stupidest fucking song Wiz Khalifa has ever dropped <laughs> is Astrop. I will say that now, Wiz. I'm sorry, but. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I mean, whatever. It was for the girls. And, you know, I heard that recently somewhere. That someone fucking played that song. <laughs> you know what? They played it at our, my last fucking show. Seriously? <laughs> Did they? <laughs> no way. I must, have missed, I must have missed that. Hold on. Where else was I at recently? Like at a function type thing. <laughs> Maybe at a bar. It okay. might have been at that a might, bar. Yeah, that one. Black Hollywood was, you know, We Them Boys, and that was that it. Was, yeah, that was it. Then we get into the Fast and Furious. Yeah. And he gets the See You Again Got record. Got that fucking Fast and, and, I think Fury, he, Fast and Furious money. Yeah, and then I think he rode that idea for like a year or two because oh, I, yeah. I remember for specifically soundtracks after see you again like uh teenage mutant ninja turtles they did a they specifically picked him to make like a song yeah um and then the transform you know there was other <clears throat> i think just other big movies that yeah. kind of picked up Wiz to do some like you know so that that's getting him a lot of money and a lot of you know which continues which to, makes sense it continues the trend though another the huge hit Another one, one, right. Yeah. So I think just that, that is a good point about Wiz. Yeah. He got, you know, he, he gets his hits, but he's not as good with, uh, what's the word? Conti like, uh, like consistency. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Drake, I, I mean, I'm just jumping right to Drake, but you're going to get a, you're gonna a, get a way, lot of, con you're going to get a better overall project. Like he's put like Wiz has been putting out 14, 15 track albums, but you and, keep, and keep about two. Yeah. Which is like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, you gotta... No, you gotta do better than that. Well, and it could be because, like we said before, his content. I mean, he literally... It's crazy that he's made as much music as he had saying pretty much the same stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, that, that being which said... Which is creative yeah. and cool to and he's find got, a way to he's do got that. a cult following. Like, he's got oh, a yeah. very loyal following. And he's yeah. been relevant for, what, fucking... I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, like eight, he's been eight relevant. Eight years now, Yeah, maybe? relevant, yes. Musically, is it as much? Maybe not. Maybe He'll never be more... in like the GOAT discussion or the top oh, of the no. game, right. but he's, I think he's, he's been relevant. I think he's aiming more towards the Snoop Dogg route. Yeah. Which is Snoop Dogg's just music carve isn't out a as... following. And he just has fucking... hits. Snoop Dogg has hits, oh, yeah, yeah. but you can't name an album where all of them were, you know what I mean? But no. he has specific hits. And he's been relevant for how long? Like close to probably think, two yeah. decades Oh, now? yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, know? shit, he's been with T-Mobile and big brands that, you know, he's obviously a weed head, but it's funny that they, they bring him Yeah, in, no, they'll I mean? still endorse him. It's hilarious. So, I yeah, he's he's got the same route. He's carving out his following. Right. He, he pumps out a really big hit track every once in a while. Right, so he had those movie hits. Yeah, yeah. Then we get this Khalifa throwaway fucking album. I, was like saying, I don't said, remember yeah, anything. Just, nothing. I remember Bake Sale. Literally Bake Sale because, you know why? Because Travis Scott was on he, like, it. He dropped they, it, didn't he? Like, he dropped so, it on SoundCloud or some shit, So they he? did a Twitter, uh, they did like a Twitter video and people fucking went crazy okay, for it. Okay, okay. So he makes this whole throwaway album and puts that on there and literally not one of the other songs got I was say, outside of that one, I don't remember any of these. Yeah. It's probably a label thing where... He has a specific a number, or yes, whatever. number of albums he has and to drop. And it was two years, so it was probably mm -hmm. creepy. Yeah, right, right. But Calls a Khalifa, Khalifa shit, you know. It sucked, yeah. It was um, skip a year, we get, I or same that. year. I don't remember that yeah, either. Yeah, that was kind of a mixtape here, the T-God Mafia, Rude Awakening. It was him, Juicy J, TM88. So he signed a producer. They made a cohesive project. I never listened to it, really. It didn't really stand out. Kind of a sleeper. Uh, then he drops that lap now fly later. That was there was a couple on there that were okay. Well, you're which year? Two thousand seventeen. That's a seventeen. Okay. So now we fast forward to Rolling Papers two, which has been talked up for. I was wrong on last episode. Probably about two three years. Not okay. Four or five. Still, like that's I a long saying. ass time. But mm -hmm. a lot of for putting that title out there, right? Uh, and I'm gonna say I was sig significantly surprised. Okay. Um, you know, in a positive way. In a positive way yeah. for him, yeah, definitely, because I've kind of been. Hayden on Wiz for as far as you know, 
last projects that he's dropped, I haven't really felt yeah. as much. Yeah. This one uh, for being Rolling Papers too, that's a big shoes to fill. You know, a sequel. And, and we've talked to, about this before. You yeah. know, naming your albums after your big album. Right. You know. Right. Uh, I saved about half of them. So there's yeah. 25 tracks. We'll Which, put that out there. We talked about that last week too. Don't fucking do that. But uh-huh. whatever. <laughs> yeah. So 25 tracks. Drake also had 25 tracks on Scorpion, mm-hmm. and I saved about half. Yeah. Here, same. I saved about half. So it's kind of at least a trend for me and my what I like. It, it's look like when you have a 25 songs, I'm saving about half. You're of gonna them. hit about you know half. Of them. So it's like, is it worth it? No. To put out that many songs, especially because all his other albums have been like, like I said, 14, 15 tracks mm-hmm. at the most. Like, why? Yeah, why, I don't why know. 25 I don't know why he now? did it. I think he just did it because he realized Drake did. So he's like, well, shit, I might as well. I have these songs. <laughs> Um, I guess. Why not just slim it down though, and make it you know? just every song really fucking good? Yeah, you know that makes sense. I but would, I would think, but yeah. Well, what, you what know, let's know? try this out. <laughs> we're gonna try calling a. We're, this is the first time we've ever done yeah, this. This is, a, this this is new, the first time here. New segment. Okay. Yeah, new segment on the show. So uh, we are gonna call a fan who, or sorry, a fan of Wiz, mm-hmm. um, and he's gonna give us his kind of review of his new project, Rolling Papers Two kind of bullshit with us a little bit about uh wiz's legacy blah blah uh so we're calling zach christensen he's actually my cousin uh yeah we're about to call (laughs) zach what's going on man welcome to rap pulse of podcast you are our first telephone guest how you feeling man I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, we're doing great, man. So I kind of I told him already you're my cousin. I gave him that away. <laughs> um, so we were just kind of bullshitting some about the new Wiz album that came out, Rolling Papers Two. Have you have you heard it? Yes, I have. I have. Okay. I heard it a couple times today, actually. What are your first overall feelings from the project? Uh, first overall thoughts are, you know, I went back today also and listened to a little bit of Rolling Papers One. Okay. Uh, yeah, we were just talking about a, that too. Get a, a guess on how I felt about the second one. Right. And you know, unfortunately, I feel like Wiz is at a point in his career right now where he's not nearly as hot as what he was then. Right. Um, okay. He's kind of coming up in his prime at that time, and I don't really think this one um, necessarily lives up to the hype. Although I do think it's, um, I think it, it met expectations for me. I thought it was there's songs on there that are good enough uh, that I would listen to. Right. You know, if it came on the radio or it came on, if I'm listening, if it, if I'm hitting shuffle on my iTunes, like, yeah. there's songs on there I'm definitely going to listen to and not skip. Can I ask you, uh, so you have Spotify or Apple Music or something like that? Yeah, I've got Apple Music. Okay, so about how many songs did you save off the project? So there's 25 songs on the project. Can you, right. do you know about how many you saved? I saved about 13. 13 that you consistently listen to? Well, I mean... <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, man. Like at least thirteen that I want to hear at least f- probably four more times. Yeah. You know. Okay. Okay. Um, um, I'm trying to think of the ones off the top of my head that I would listen to like more than a couple times. Yeah. Um, look, here, I can. Uh, let me read like, you. Hot, hot now, obviously. The yeah. Very first song I, th- I I really liked. Yep. Um, <clears throat> I thought going hard was good. The beat was good, but I feel like he could have going hard. I feel like third, he could have done oh, a little okay. more. Like, a little more, a oh little yeah. Job okay. In that song. Yeah. So going hard, I feel like that was just like he made that for the strip club. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say I, I saved I that one. Agree. Okay. Well, I I think my favorite song off the album. I'm just gonna jump right to that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, shit. I know it's hard to keep you know track. What, you know, it was a sleeper that I didn't think I would like, but actually was pretty cool. Was that that song he had with Bone Thugs and Harmony? Did you check out that one? That that was pretty cool. I love that song. That I was cool. Agree. Yeah, and kind of cool because he's showing love to the OGs, and it's crazy how much love Bone Thugs don't get for their flows that are copied oh, by so everybody. Good, though, dude. Yeah, that's so good. Hey, you're literally taking my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. It must be the blood, brother. To it earlier, I was walking the dog going down the street, and I was listening to it. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? Like, of all the features that Wiz could have gotten, like he chose Bone Thugs, which is great. Yeah. Like, Bone Thugs, if I, if I, mean, I, I might be wrong on this, so on top of my head, I feel like they were like so hot in like the early 90s and yeah oh hell yeah. yeah and no one really features him on songs and i thought that was a great yeah was a great little switch 
switch up. Yeah, I, feel I like, like it a lot. I feel like they're definitely slept on, and uh, that'd be a good, you know, that'd be a good. We'll we'll do as our assignment to kind of <laughs> do some uh, research on Bone Thugs a little more. We'll have them on our next episode and kind of, uh, you know, talk about that. Um, yeah, I think. Did you have any specific? Song? Well, Hopeless Romantic with Sway Lee. That was a hit. Oh, well, it's Sway Lee. But so. that's a Sway Lee hit. Yeah, that wasn't a Wiz Khalifa hit. Yeah. So I feel like that was kind of cheating almost. Yeah. Uh, let's see other. You I know, I mean the first the first two I like it start it's the first half was all right for me. I think the second half I enjoyed a the lot. The middle more, half but, was kind of weird. But yeah, it it started pretty well and then it ended. So well. okay, let me ask you this: we're we're gonna give it a rating, but Zach, what uh, out of five? How what would you get out of five? See, man, I, I heard what you guys gave Drake Scorpion album <laughs> a two point five. Uh huh. So like, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like I feel like Drake. <clears throat> I feel like Drake gets evaluated so hard. Oh yeah. He's expected to do so well. Yeah, it's not like fair. watching LeBron play basketball. Like, yes. if he doesn't. If he can score fifty points, have ten rebounds, ten assists, and like if he loses, everybody's like, "Well, shit." Exactly. I mean, it's pretty he, fucking spot on. <laughs> um, it's like we shout it's out like the same comparison. So like with Wiz, yeah. Um, I would give it a, a two and a half or a three. Yeah. Like I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't near Rolling Papers one. It right. wasn't even close to what he did on Captain Fever. I mean, Kevin Fever, almost every song on there. Yeah. <laughs> Other Zach here, what, what would you? What do you? Think I was I was leaning towards two and a half actually. Okay, so yeah. I think we can all agree here actually about <laughs> probably about a two point five out of five. Um, so yeah, before we called you, we were kind of talking about you know Wayne or er, Wayne, <laughs> uh, Wiz's legacy. Oh, I heard what you said about <laughs> Wayne and Wayne's mixtape. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, we'll, we'll get into that. One. We'll get, <laughs> hey, chill, chill. We'll get into that in Whoa, a second. Hey, hey guy, hey guy. <laughs> Okay, so did you uh, cushion OJ? Well, how, what do you consider that? I mean, cabin fever, cushion OJ. What's what's bigger for Wiz to you? Oh, it's cabin fever for me. Okay. Yeah. Now, is that because? And let me ask you this: We were kind of saying, uh, so Waka Flock is coming out, you know, with these hard trap beats, and we're all like, "Whoa, what is this fucking sound?" <laughs> and then Wiz was the first non-trap type guy to hop on these. You know, trap beats and be like a kind of stoner on it though, but yeah. make it sound cool. I think that's why we liked it a lot. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Oh yeah, I I, I definitely agree with that. What <clears throat> What would you say your favorite song is off of Cabin Fever? I mean, either either phone numbers or every day with you. Oh, phone numbers. That's I did forget about I that. Forgot one, about phone numbers. I forgot about that one. Uh yeah, phone numbers is really. I like that one because it's a chill ass banger, but it's still a banger. Every day with Juicy J, that was that one was pretty cool. But dude, Gang Bang, you don't like Gang Bang? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I like. Is that what? Uh, Big uh, Sean. Chevy Woods? No, Chevy Big Sean. Woods, most favorite. Uh, yeah. I got I got drunk to that one a lot, man. That one was one of my favorites. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Cabin Fever definitely was big for Wiz. I mean, what would you say? You think that's his peak? Was Cabin Fever Wiz's peak? Uh. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably for him. Yeah. Well, and okay, where did like, you? Because I mean, so you go. Anytime you, you put out a mixtape and you got, you know, eight songs on it, they're all bangers. Like, yeah. that's probably gonna be your big. You know, I, that was like ahead of its time. It was a nice, short and concise project yeah. where every song was, uh, you know, went hard. <laughs> um, right. Versus now, fast forward, here we are, Rolling Papers 2. 25 fucking tracks. 25 songs, <laughs> and about half of them are decent. You know, it's just like, what's the point of... I think it's just because he has the songs and life is short, so he's figuring, let's just put them out and see what happens, yeah. you know? But Oh, speaking of an underrated song on that, too. Yeah. The uh, Be Okay song. Oh, yeah. That, that shit was deep. I did like, like that, like, yeah. The second verse when he talks about his relationship with Amber Rose, like right, yeah, I like that know. too. I was, I thought that was who he was talking about. Okay, yeah, man. Well, hey, Zach, we appreciate you calling in, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, man. <laughs> oh yeah, real quick, real quick, we're gonna about to jump into it probably with Lil Wayne and stuff. Uh, what do you have to say about Wayne's mixtapes? I mean, am I right saying that they're <laughs> that they're huge, right? <laughs> uh, Wayne's mixtape, no ceilings. Uh, it's about three. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry for the wait. I mean, yeah. I can yeah. literally probably pick five. I can probably pick ten songs off No Ceilings that Wiz Khalifa probably has one song that's probably on my level. Yeah, right, right. I mean, like Wayne's mixtapes, like when, when in, in '09. I say on, there's like, that was never he was like right in the middle of, of the thick of his prime too. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like Wayne's mixtapes are unbelievable. Yeah, man. Well, we're we're gonna get into some other shit, but we appreciate you calling, man. Yeah, and uh, it's always good to hear from uh, no you. Problem. Uh, 
it was meant to be because I woke up this morning and saw your Instagram post. Hell yeah, bro. I wanted to talk to you about <laughs> Hell yeah, album, man. and I just so happened to download it yesterday. So. Yeah. All right, man. Well, we'll be in touch, yeah, and uh, thanks for calling in, brother. Good talking to you. All right, talk to you later. Okay, so where do we go from here with Wiz? Let's say that. So what I think Wiz should just keep doing, if if, he, if his plan is to just keep dropping music, mm-hmm. drop do your album every year, every two years. But do your hit songs, dude. Divide it by three. Yeah. Do this. Go don't, back be, to, don't be dropping more than 15 tracks. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to your cabin fever idea. And I'm not saying they all have to be hard. No, no. But I wish but just they slim would it down, dude. Like, slim it down. I think, I think that's what we can learn here from. So maybe this, maybe Kanye was right to. I think it's a good idea. Do, it is. It honestly. I is. think it is. I mean, it's weird though, because like with Scorpion, it's kind of working with a lot because it's a little bit for everybody. Well, it is. A, it is a double it's album. It's also Drake though. It's verse. a double album. It has to be at least you know. I'd say a double album's got to be at least twenty tracks, probably like ten for mm-hmm. each side. Yeah. Right. But still. But see, it didn't work with. Uh, Ray Schremer at all? Yeah, that First, was weird. And you you would like think they'd be able to do it. Like it's weird because they that was that was kind of a weird thing for them, man. Yeah. They were they were up 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 up, and then it was like, are they breaking up or what are they doing? No, yeah. we're about to do two solo albums and our album. But then it all dropped, and it was so like, get ready to digest all of this music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it was Swaycation, Slim Jimmy shit was horrible, and their middle was like, yeah. He's got to stick with the group, man. <laughs> oh, he does, man. I'm sorry, man. What do you think about so Slim Jimmy? Oh yeah, we 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 talked about yeah, Slim yeah, Jimmy man. He's yeah. he needs to. I don't know. He's man. got the group going, but solo. It's not weird. Gonna, solo's he, not. Gonna he work was doing all right solo with getting on other people's shit, but then when he tries to make his own stuff, it's just. I don't it, know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but he'll figure it out hopefully. He's hopefully, still man. young. He's a young he's dude. He's I think. Young, he's young I think kid, Ray Sherman so. needs to stick together and still just do what they were doing. And Sway, oh yeah, Sway for Lee sure. can still do go off and do his stuff, but I think as a group they just make a good energy. Oh yeah. So fucking catchies all hell. That that could be a good little point too, though. Real quick. When What's where that? there was a group and they tried breaking off, was it better off breaking off or was it better when they were together? Like, I'm tra- who, like who though? Like well, off the see. top of your head, who are you thinking? G Unit, but yeah. Well, yeah, G Unit. Let's say that because when you got Fifty Cent with you, versus well, that's true. Because Lloyd, Cause Lloyd, lo- Lloyd Banks though, I he love, did a lot better by himself. I love Lloyd Blank. Lloyd yeah. Blanks. Well, Lloyd his name Banks. Right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I love him, but he he doesn't get the respect he deserves. He doesn't because he doesn't Lloyd have, he doesn't have Fifty spare. Cents by his. Right, but anymore, I no? think he did a lot better. Actually, I think he yeah, because the G Unit shit wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah, but his yeah. solo stuff was great. Yeah, I think if anything, though, he did get more respect when he went off by himself. Yeah, because at least from now, the not underground enough shine teams. because Fifty Cent, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah that's a young good buck. A young buck, dude. He didn't do shit by is himself. Is he the one Besides, that? Is he the one that went to jail or was that? No, that was the other guy. No, it's Yayo. Yeah, Yeo that's Yeo right. Did. That's right. But Young Buck, dude, he was one of my favorites. He's but good, then, dude. Don't, his then his debut you, album is fantastic. Is it? Okay. Oh, it's yeah. very good. Well, I'm saying I liked Young Buck with G-Unit, but then once oh, okay. he went by himself, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I didn't do it enough because I think he didn't have 50 Cent next to him. So in my head, I thought, okay, not yeah. as important, which is kind of sad to admit. But Dude, that's a weird... We might, might have to revisit that topic. Cause that's a, yeah. That's a good topic, actually. Because G-Unit was like a weird... That was a weird thing. I mean, that first album, dude, I actually really liked that album. G-Unit, I bought that album. Yeah. Uh <laughs> And it it had some hits on there, but then once they tried I, to do their own different, I thing. liked G Unit's music, but I yeah. like their solo stuff so much. But I always like Fifty Cent solo stuff more. I love Lloyd Banks' uh, solo stuff way more. Yeah, well, Lloyd Banks it definitely worked out yeah. better solo. Yeah, I think for Young Buck it was opposite though. I think Young Buck when he had other people on there that he had to go up against. Yeah. Did you ever hear the Stomp remix with Ludacris? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that was yes, so cool. I did. That was so cool, dude. <laughs> that was awesome, actually. Ugh. We could talk about that some other day. Well, let's go from Wiz just into some Mac Miller real quick. Yeah, and we yeah. can kind of just bullshit about Mac. Do you, I mean, did you ever listen to Mac Miller much? Or I like Mac. Really? I like Mac Miller. Yeah, I like his more like, I like his more serious stuff. I'm okay, not, I'm not really into his party hits very much. Okay, that's fine. So, was there a specific project you liked more of his, or do you not know him enough to like? Uh, project right off the bat? That I can't remember the name of it. The one watching. He should, yes, the one he sent. Yep, the one he sent. That the was chair. a cool one. I like that project. That was cool because it was so, like red. Red Dot Music or whatever, yeah. like the one with Action Bronson, that beat was, and it was just nice. It was it was good ass hip hop, and that is one of his sleepers. I think. It, yeah, that, that, that's a project not a lot of people talk about, but yeah, it had an Earl Sweatshirt feature on yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah, and that that got me into you know what Mac Miller is what transitioned me to like an Odd Future. Really, or just getting into Odd Future. Period. Okay, cool. Because I didn't realize Frank Ocean and Tyler and. Tyler took me a while to to understand, and I I yeah I was pretty slow on Tyler. Well, but see, I liked him a lot, and then uh, <laughs> I don't listen to him as much now. But yeah, is he gay or not, dude? I don't, he, I, I think, think he gay. is. I think he is. I think he um, definitely is now because he doesn't come out of. Or, <laughs> 
he doesn't like isn't on social media as much now. Yeah, that whole thing was weird. That's a fucking great album though. I love that album. That was a good album. That was such a good album. But then I got thrown off when I realized he was gay. Yeah, and then he like didn't address it. He was like weird about the whole thing. And yeah, like, I was just, like, dude, just, just come say out you are. It. So like, dude, it's come on. I think that's what it was. That kind of made me like. I was like, well, at least just say you are, so that yeah, I can he, appreciate he, the music. He more handled it kind of weird. He did. Yeah. He really did. It was a great album, though. That's what Flower Boy, right? Yeah, it was a good album, though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Mac Miller just dropped. Yeah, a, so Mac Miller, <laughs> he dropped a new single. Yeah, uh, called uh, Take Self Care. Self Care. Self Care. Take care. <laughs> Self Care. <laughs> Self Care. Uh, he also dropped a music video where I'll just tell you. What I would say that one. Basically, didn't get a dude, chance it's to him. See just it. have you ever seen the movie Buried? With uh, yeah, yeah, and it's literally that. Okay, and he gets out and there's like a pile of dirt okay nice. and that's but that's it's kind of cool it, <laughs> sorry i'm giving it all away <laughs> no it's all good if you want to watch it you can but <laughs> it wasn't that special honestly. okay the song was the song was pretty good the song was cool uh it wasn't the song that was on the album trailer that i sent you for his album which by the okay. way mac miller is dropping an album august 3rd y'all and yeah, he's been quiet yeah, well, let, let's talk about Mac Miller for a little more. Well, though, kind of what's been so going I look so stuff. I looked yeah. up the lyrics before I listened to the song. I looked it up on Genius. And oh, okay, it, it talked about how like the breakup with Ariana was like public and whatnot. It, I don't oh, remember it, any of that shit, dude. Oh, them breaking up? Yeah, dude. Honestly, I remember. It, I remember her show got bombed. He canceled like oh. a bunch of shows, and then I didn't hear about Mac Miller for like six months. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember any of that. The bombing thing happened. They were still together after yeah, that. Yeah, and then before he knew it, I think. I don't remember he like was, I don't remember like a big public thing. Yeah, like, like a bad DUI and stuff. I do remember. I think that, that was after the breakup, though. That would make sense. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, the breakup was like a quick one, two day thing, and then it was off social media. It wasn't really publicized. Them, I think because they made they, it seem like it was some big public. Well, thing. and I think because they weren't so crazy, you know, they didn't have a crazy breakup. It was yeah. just they're done. Okay. So that makes more sense. Then. I think they went peacefully. Hopefully, I mean, fuck it. Yeah. We'll see on the album, I guess. Yeah. Personally, yeah. I hope it did end badly because oh, I want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear Mac. Get That's terrible some, of me to say. I mean, it, I just, it, it makes for better content. That's all. <laughs> Bad breakup makes better content for music. I Hell know. yeah, dude. Um, yeah, so new Mac Miller, is he going to be smoking weed again? I hope so. <laughs> so with Good AM is when he sobered up. Yeah. Um, that album was decent. And it was okay. The it had, last it had one a couple dropped, good songs I on there. I fucking didn't listen to it all. I don't even remember his last one. Yeah. It was, there was one between Good AM and... The new one? And what he's about to drop? Yeah. Oh. It, exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there was one song called like Cinderella with Ty Dolla Sign. That was all right, but the rest was, sorry, Mac, it was garbage. You I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember he that. He was just drinking coffee and making music, and it was just, <laughs> just not. drinking coffee. But that, that's it. Like, <laughs> Mac needs, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this, and people are going to feel me on this, because I'm a big Mac Miller. Mac Miller was huge for me. Yeah. I mean, as a, a white rapper trying to come up and seeing Mac Miller, I was like, oh, shit, okay. Yeah. Cause I he, might be able to do something like yeah, this. Yeah, because he blew up. Yeah. And he blew up and like, uh, cause like before him, MGK was kind of coming up too as a white yeah, rapper. Yeah, he, he had his Yellow Wolf. Yeah, he had. But his I, I related to Yellow Wolf in no way at all. <laughs> I mean, I love Yellow Wolf, <laughs> but I, it, he was Southern. Yeah, he's got kind of white trashy thing type going on. image, right? Uh, MGK, I didn't really know about MGK quite as much. I found Mac first. Okay. Okay, and I'm seeing this. Yeah, they, you know, I, guess, I guess they did kind of. He was pop the first. Up. They kind of yeah. popped up around the same time. Yeah, think about it. So he's that first white rapper with just a backpack in the city walking around and rapping to a camera. Yeah. I'm like, I can do that. It's like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, so maybe there is a chance. That's it. Which here <laughs> I am still at 24 trying, but hey, fuck hey, it, right? Whatever. Uh, anyways, so Mac was huge for me, man, and you know, so you get Macadelic, drops these projects, and then he kind of just went in. Well, okay, so he started doing the Ariana Grande, right? And he kind of just stopped, and I was like, "Okay, yeah." Which you can't, someone else. you just can't do. Man. Nowadays, you can't do that. You can't right? disappear for a he little can't. while. Because look at Future; he fucking left. He dropped five projects. In he fucking, left for in half five a days. Year. <laughs> he left for half a year. Drops a project, and no one says shit. It's like no one really cares now. There's no loyalty if you're not consistently no. dropping stuff, unless. Unless you're like a Kanye, unless or you're a, a great, yeah. a god, then they'll they'll give Which you a pass. I, apparently, Future's not quite there. No, because he took five, six months off and dropped the tape. And actually, you know, it might have been a year. No, because yeah, he yeah, a well, future and young thug. I take that back. No. Yeah. No, you're right. So you're right. I'm jumping all d- d- around. D- right it's just now, so saturated, though. There's so many. Mm-hmm. If you're not gonna drop something new, there's eight other artists I can listen to. There needs to be a trend, man, where we have to wait. I know. It, I, it just trust sucks. me. I we want. I want people to. We but. need something, man. It's like, I don't get it. What's gonna? What else can you get with an artist that drops music every day? You know, I don't know. But it's I don't just, want. But unless, unless you're I just liked, a guy who can crank out songs like that, I don't want a song every day. Like, yeah, I want. Well, I want you to. I want you to sit on something. See, we're the old heads. Yeah, I know. I'm Sadly, a, I'm and an we're old twenty man, something. So, yeah. 
But right, I I liked. I want to be. Refined, I liked having to wait for an artist because it makes you have to listen to their project they dropped again and again and yeah you know or you get a now, single and you kind of just sit on the single for a little while mm-hmm. like I, I like that but yeah man it's not the well, thing well some artists still do do that yeah there's like people there's Kendrick, people sticking Kendrick to it Kendrick still does it because yeah. he can yeah Kendrick's one that can do that although he's been known to just kind of mm, here's a project <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> which I'm fine with that's cool but I, I don't mind waiting I really don't yeah especially if it's going to be a good product it's not going to be some right, rushed right. bullshit if it's worth w- if it's worth the wait yeah. then hell yeah but if it's this big top or talk up for a while and then it's not done it's deliver, then you're really tracks. yourself. Then yeah, you're yeah yeah. No, I I agree. Um, I wish. I so wish hopefully we were a Mac patient. is coming back here with the net. Okay, well he also dropped that three EP tracks. Remember we kind of covered those a few weeks ago. I like vaguely remember See, that. I, that's the thing. I I have to say that. So <sighs> I liked the songs, yeah, but I haven't gone back and listened to those. And I'm a Mac fan, so yeah. I'm hoping whatever these songs are in your new project that they're a little more. Replay worthy, I guess. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I'm um, hoping so. We love you, Mac. Come back <laughs> and let's cook up that crack. Yeah. Mini good music. Chill out. <laughs> um Okay. Uh let's talk about well since we're talking about new shit that dropped, let's yeah. just keep doing that. You wanna do Gambino? Yeah. So right. Charles Gambino. We just uh summer pack, some summer pack. Yeah, or like that. some shit like it's like a two two single two song uh, EP. Yeah. It's like dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another thing, man. Just it's like it's an EP because there's two fucking songs. Yeah, two songs together, so that's a project. You know, no. why not just do a single after single? I think he yeah. could have just done it two singles. Yeah, but whatever. And um, it's nothing like this is America. It's, it's yeah, very, it's very it's very Drakeish. The, the first song was Drakeish mm-hmm. to me. Yeah, I think uh, I liked it though. He it's very good yeah, I like it a lot. Second one was kind of starts a little weird. Uh, gets better once it gets a little better. Yeah, I like the first track a little so more. Gambino, but. you're doing better than. Redbone, because I could not play that shit. I know. I think you like that. Yeah, right? I like Redbone, uh, man. No, I didn't. I couldn't get it. <sighs> fair enough. Maybe I'll have to go back. <laughs> okay. You know, I'll do that just to be fair, because I like this new Gambino. See, I'm going off. What was the project called? Was it uh, called Redbone or was it called something else? No, it was Mother called Mother or something, right? Fuck. Was that Screaming Lady? Or yeah. Something? Dude, I can't remember. Well, well did that, you like uh did you like the little split EP he did when he had the rap side and the like was like sober and all that stuff? Did it oh, do, did it do anything it? for you? I know you're talking about the some peak or something. Some like yeah, hill. like there was a there was a rapping eh, side. And I did, it was all right. Dude. Yeah. It was cool because drama was it was his first drama tape. Oh uh, yeah, you realize that, but yeah. It was, and then having a drama tape's like a thing, and he's from Atlanta, Fucking so. Drama. Uh, eh, it didn't do it for me, honestly. Yeah. I saved I think I saved one or two, but. I liked the internet because of the internet. That yeah, was that's cool. a great, that's a great good project. album. Then we get this, whatever you just said. The, yeah, that was split that one. Ta- split tape. And then we get the Redbone album, whatever that was. You like, I'll have to go back. I just, I couldn't find my ear for it. Yeah, my ear no, couldn't yeah. find the. Especially, well, well if you're used to Gambino rapping, then, you know. That too. It's a change of pace. Yeah. And I think I was just going off the lead single. Redbone, yeah. Which I personally didn't like. So maybe there's some other songs on there. Okay. I like. I'll, I'll so go and see. check it out. Yeah, let's see. But, Make out to a girl with it or something, because <laughs> it isn't all like R and B singing Yeah, yeah, it's shit. all R and B. Yeah, get weird, we'll man. <laughs> I get weird with Drake when R and B, but I don't like Gambino. Okay. Um, I do. I have looked up to Gambino a lot though, so and I really respect him a lot. So I he was my favorite artist for a couple a couple years. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he was mine for about a year when he did that uh, royalty. Oh yeah. Oh, Every, dude, no one likes that he was tape. Going man. So hard on no that. No one likes that tape, <sighs> dude. Fuck okay, you guys. so uh, who, who don't like that tape? I think it did all right. I think I mean, it did. Mo- most people, so, most he, Gambino fans I know, they don't really care for that tape. I like that one a lot. He I like He had the song with Schoolboy. He had the song with Absol. Oh, had, and that's that was so just. Dude, he had a lot of. See, I like that he was another, kind of how Wiz jumped on Cabin Fever and mm-hmm. did those hard beats. Yeah, Gambino was kind of doing that, but he was bodying them. I'm like, okay. Yeah, because then he did it with the split one, and that one did not. It didn't. That one didn't much. execute it quite as yeah, well. Yeah, I just think the beats weren't as. Yeah. Well, some of them were just remixes, right? Yeah, he did like a Move That Dope remix. That was oh, kinda, yeah, yeah. That was kind of weird. Yeah, um, that's right. That's right. And then Royalty was awesome, though. I don't Royalty, care. Royalty, yeah. I, love, I that. love that project, dude. That's what got me into Gambino. Hard. You remember Cul de Sac? Uh, was that on there? No, that's the, that's another uh, mixtape. That's before. Oh. That's like before Camp. Mm-mm. You don't remember that? Oh, one? no. Oh, See, I, I found Gambino at Camp, and I was already late there. Gotcha. Okay. And then after Camp was. Was Royal, I think royalty was and after yeah. That. So I found I that so. I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> hey, so hey. he can go hard. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I like this guy. 
and uh then because of the internet so that's why now now we're like we got, I got this is america where he went hard and yeah i got this singing him which a couple of them i like so we're gonna see what happens with uh I'm guessing he's about dropping down too. Though. I would think so, yeah. Yeah, he's due, he, I mean, he's due for one. You know? Yeah. Um, cool. I'm excited. Yeah. So shout out Chad Gambino because I actually liked some of your new shit. So that's kind of nice to, and refreshing. <laughs> God damn Speaking it. Speaking of God. refreshing, because <laughs> we talk about Eminem a lot on here, of course. And I just uh, we you love know, Eminem. I just came up on something on Instagram, and it kind of uh-huh. it was him just admitting that he's pretty much always chasing Marshall Mathers. Yeah, and, and that was interesting to me. Yeah, uh, it, it was to me too. So I'm like, okay, because. Maybe this is just because I, I was a little late to Eminem and I found Eminem at the Eminem show. Okay, I did album. too, actually. I okay. actually did too. Because I personally think that's his best album. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, what is? Marshall Mathers LP? It's, uh, I'm trying to think. It's definitely one of those two albums. But I, I think I'm being biased because, like I said, I found him late. I think it is. And then a, I, had I think it is Eminem back. show. It's close. I think I'd give it to Eminem show, though, honestly. Yeah, I just thought Eminem show had, like, I think Eminem show has peak Eminem. Yeah. As far as uh, uh, he was age, <laughs> and it scares me because I'm just thinking about okay, age, blah blah. My voice is gonna be because as a white rapper, I've kind of said this before. The older you get, the cooler your voice kind of sounds. Until, it's so true. It's, it's kind of so true. It's so true. It is. So after thirty, like four, is kind of where it's gonna go downhill. Yeah. Okay. Now Which I think is an M, early window. Yeah, I know. You know, and it's like, scary. I got ten years and then I'm done rapping. <laughs> that's an so early I, window. That's, dude. that's why I'm doing this shit. Like I gotta have an out, outlet somehow. <laughs> Uh, so I think he dropped Eminem show around age 30. Okay. That sounds about right. And his voice well, at that time, yeah. dude, I don't know. It's just something about, it just sounded so hard at that time, man. <laughs> and like every song he was going in, I feel like on Eminem yeah. show. Um, <laughs> he was great, dealing, such a great album. I, and, and I looked up more about Eminem show and I guess that was, uh, have you ever seen the Truman show? Jim Carrey? Yeah. Yeah. So he, that's what it's based off of. I didn't so know that. Yeah. Okay. So it's the Eminem show. Um, he feels like the whole world's watching him while he's going through this legal case. Right. And if you think about it, if you go back and look at the album, it's kind of just talking about that legal case where he sees Kim. I didn't know that, huh? Uh huh. That's go back cool. and listen. It's That's actually pretty cool. Now. Yeah. And it's cool that I, I didn't realize how much of the Eminem show is rock influence, kind of. Oh, his whole, whole, his whole career. Well, his whole career. Yeah. And that's just, what I kind of didn't think about. I'm like, I yeah. never realized it until like maybe three years ago. Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, the way they do guitar in there, but it's like, it's badass guitar that you kind of don't think of as guitar almost. But, but then, then you, you hear the song somewhere else, you're like, what the fuck? Right. I know that song from somewhere. Right, like, right. It's weird. It's yeah. very weird. Uh, I just felt like Eminem show, man, there's, I mean, the one song on there I'm not a big fan of is Drips, which is like the perverted one with Obi Trice. I don't even remember top. that one. Well, on the, edited, on the edited version, it's literally blanked out. <laughs> they don't even have the song on That's there. That's hilarious. Because as a kid, I had to buy, I mean, shit, literally the music video without me, he tells that little oh, kid, yeah. hey, no, Pearl yeah, Advisory. Right. So I'm like, oh, I want to fucking get that I'm out. getting that, obviously. So I go to the mall, get the edited version of that gotcha. show. Okay. Uh, it's a song called Drips. It's super <laughs> took it perverted. Off. <laughs> Just totally took it off. Okay. I mean, he has many classics, but I feel like that's his hardest, peakest of his voice. Uh, I think I think about Eminem show. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but no, yeah. Eminem show was a lot more serious. It was bangers. Yeah, well, bangers. Mar- but Marshall was more. Marshall Mathers I'm being LP, controversial. I'm being controversial, kind of funny. Yeah, like look at me. I'm slim steady. Yes, I'm never. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, obviously, that one. Yeah. That's weird. So we're looking back on Eminem albums, right? His. That's back when you made albums that are twenty songs, and guess what? They all fucking deliver. great. <laughs> you, had maybe, again, you had maybe one or two. But good ones, who ones. are we looking at here, man? We're looking at the goat, almost. It's not Wiz Khalifa. Goat too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not Wiz Khalifa, right? I mean, not even Drake. Drake didn't have twenty song project where it all delivered. No, you yeah, know, no, it's been a little shaky. It's too bad that, that don't exist anymore, really. So, maybe. so what were you saying? You think so? Back to Eminem. And you stuff. think you think he's chasing Marshall because of the, more of the variety? I think he's chasing Marshall. Ma- or, ugh, I think yeah, chasing Marshall. Radio hits, LP. Yeah, I'd say that it had. I think it was just the perfect balance of everything. Mm-hmm. And I think the he, perfect amount of crazy radio hits. Yeah, crazy radio hits. Gr- you know, for the girls, the guys, the funny, crazy shit, the hard, emotional shit. The you know all it's that. A good, right? That's a good point, actually. Yeah, versus Eminem show was a lot more of just the hard emotional shit. Yeah, with a couple which is weird, what he funny tracks with, on there, which but... is what he copied with on Recovery. Yeah. So I think he took the Eminem show formula. And which put I love that Recovery. On recovery. I, don't I, love, I, I don't care. I didn't anyone says that's I one of my that favorite album. Eminem albums too. So slept on. I have a lot of his favorites, but. Yeah, that was huge for me, man. That's just so was, was slept on. It was just fun because Relapse let us all down a little bit. I think. Yeah, Relapse sucked. I didn't yeah, like Relapse. See, that's how you are, too. I like it now, but at the time, I was very disappointed I'm, as a even, kid. Even revisiting it, I'm like, 
Doesn't yeah. do much for me. I, I can get past the accent. That's yeah. the hardest part. Can you, you, can, can you get past the accent? It's tough. <laughs> Eminem fans, relapse. Can you get past the accent? 3 a.m. in the morning. I, look, that I, one, I like that song, though. I, yeah, 3 a.m. was like the one. There well, are a couple good songs on there, but oh, yeah, overall, the, I'm like, nah. I can get past it. Yeah. So you can't get past it. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was just, I appreciate any Eminem now. That I yeah. Can, well, pfft. Well, you're revival. pretty hard on you're pretty hard on revival. Too, <laughs> and revival. I need to go back and listen to revival, the good songs. Four out of fucking seventeen, I, I, or whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's say on. this. Do you think Eminem's gonna drop another album? Uh, I think we'll get mm. we'll get one more, definitely. Yeah, we'll probably get at least one. more I can't album. I can't let revival be his last album. Yeah, I kind of wish he would have just stopped with recovery. That'd have been a great. That'd been such leave. a great ending. The problem is it went so good. You don't want to stop. You know, I get and, it. and it's almost like a second life to his career. Yeah. Because he gets to say, okay, I'm sober. I'm sober now. I'm still making really good music. Let me get cocky and get into my hip hop shit. Yeah. Royce Five Nine, let's make an album. I liked that a lot, actually. Bad Me Evil. That was that wasn't that was actually that was good. good. And then we get Marshall That was like Mathers the last LP. good album. And then we get album literally album him that. chasing the idea of Marshall Mathers LP and with that, Marshall that Mathers LP. Me too. Out, dude. I'm like, man. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't do it, man. Didn't I'll make a quick it. mention of how well he's aging though. Yeah, well, pff, shit, he probably pays for his fucking skin to get... <laughs> oh, man. I mean, yeah, I know he does look good. He looks <laughs> fine. I mean, it's going to get weird in about 10 years. You think so? But, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I've but never no, heard... no, I mean, yeah, he... Well, it's because... I've never heard anyone accuse that of being artificial. It's I'm just weird. hard on fucking Eminem, man. <laughs> but... White people don't age as well either. That's, white people that's age terribly, dude. Yeah. They really I do. just heard that on another podcast. Like, Damn, that is true. <laughs> they Fuck, age I gotta so start bad. doing fucking facials and shit. Yeah. What do you think his best album is? Do you think Eminem now show? That we, now that we revisited it, yeah. Marsh Matters is a close second, but yeah, I'm, I'm giving it to Eminem show. I am too. I think Eminem show. And maybe show. a little biased because that's the first one I've discovered of him, but it, right. I it think fucking it holds too. up, dude. I just remember, you know, I'd take Trish with my family and put a CD in. I put that in. I'd listen front to back. Yeah. And it was just, and what I would do is I'd fall asleep and I'd catch some lines later on because I had to listen to it all versus my patience. To, I'd probably skip song real quick. Yeah. And when I'd be sleeping and hearing it, I'm like, oh, damn, there's what a lot just more say? to this song. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm awake again, Marshall. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shout out some Shady if you want to be on our podcast. Yeah. Stop by, man. Stop it's by. not that far of a drive. not that far from me. Hey, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, Oh, and last, let's talk about Astro World a little bit. So oh, we yeah, got, we got, got a little tease in there. Yeah. Man. Fuck, fucking Travis. So Travis randomly is like, yo, Astro World's done. <laughs> and this is before Thursday night. So yeah. I'm thinking, okay, I'm about to get Astro World and Wiz Khalifa while well, I'm going to listen to Astro World <laughs> first. <laughs> we still, Uzi has to drop something. Oh, Ken, yeah, Kendrick will be back pretty soon. Schoolboys yeah. do. Absol's do. A lot of TDs. Yeah, do. Schoolboy did, did just kind of tease that yeah. he had something. So coming. we'll be. Dude, there's always gonna be an artist dropping oh, something. Yeah. So oh, it's hip hop, dude. It's always Big something. Sean's do. Yeah. He's got some explaining to do. He so. does, man. He does. Yeah, man. Awesome. Well, I think that was a good episode. Yeah, Round I think that about episode wraps it up. nine. Almost in double digits, um, guys. Yeah, almost in double digits, guys. Next next week we are gonna be taking a week off. I have to take a vacation out west. Um so we won't see you guys for about two weeks. The crazy thing is we will not probably be sitting in this room from now yeah. on when we do interviews yeah. on our podcast. It's exciting. We will uh, be relocating to a building in Kankakee. Kankakee. Uh, that's kind of the announcement. Um, yeah, this is like And I'll post one. it if I do sign papers tomorrow, <laughs> which I do plan to. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be relocating to a building in Kankakee, kind of over by On the Rocks, if you know where that's at. Um, and pretty much going to be doing shows live events, ciphers, beat contests, just different shit, man. Yeah, it's going to be fucking It's, it's going to be awesome. a lot more coming. A lot of, I'm very excited about it. To be continued, guys. Keep them up, keep bumping that rolling papers too, <laughs> and let's hope Astro World drops soon. Let's hope Maybe so. in 2 weeks though so we can actually cover it yeah, decently. That, <laughs> that'd be nice, but yeah. I'll take it whenever. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Fuck off. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>